Hello randomies, this is your boy Gizmo GX and welcome to another MPV episode on the channel. Hopefully you guys have been keeping up with the series as the first two all episodes are already out. I strongly advise you guys go ahead and check those out if you haven't already as the first episode contained the ending arc of the RCF, the second half of the episode well, the second part of the episode contained the first half of the IBA VGC arc, excluding Kairuko Eye's battle because that was on a separate video. So if you have, if you want to check that out, it's already on the channel. Don't enough said. But in this episode, we're going to be covering the ending arc of the RCA in terms of regular season. So we're going to start off with uh, let's go ahead and is it is like a direct continuation from week four. Uh, oh no, actually this is week 5 as a matter of fact. So the battle that you're seeing right now is going up against West or otherwise known as W3S7. When I saw Monk's video, he presented him that way. Or I think it was Monk. Oh, I think I'm mixing up YouTubers now. Holy shit. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, it's Wes. He is the coach of the Motor Stoke uh, Motris. And let me just say, my boy, this matchup was I literally took this match literally right after I went ahead and battled Goki like probably like 30 minutes difference between the two probably less give or take and I really didn't plan anything for against against West I did not have the time I used all my IQ points on Goki so by the time I went into this battle and I didn't want to prolong it anymore because I could have delayed it a day and say, you know what, so-and-so. But I was just like, nah, it, it was during finals. Uh, I think it was during finals or midterms week. And on top of that, I had a lot of work piled up on me. So, yeah, so I just decided to say, you know what, frick it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and team build real quick a random team. It's a compilation of my weeks one all the way to three, excluding my match from Gokis because I wanted to keep that battle a little bit unique. So that's what... That's the route that I decided to go and I'm gonna be honest even though Wes's team I've seen this video He did say that he did kind of F up his team He didn't have the right EVs or IVs I believe and some movesets were not there so I think your boy did pretty good even though he got demolished as you can see right now It's Derelodon against the whole world but guess what that Dragon Meteor is about to go BEEP <laughs> BEEP <laughs> Yeah it destroyed Gizmo man Ugh I am kind of salty, but I really wish I did plan out a team, but that's the team I decided to carry out and something that I forgot to mention on the last episode, the theme that I I remember that I forgot to include was Konosuba. That has been for my week two and three match, if I noticed that. And the reason why I kept it the same was because I wanted to win with that theme at least once. But then going into Goki, I was like, nah, nah, I gotta bust my good anime. Let's go. My, my favorite. Well, not good anime, my personal favorite. And I was like, and I did it. I won. And you know, that's a common theme. Whenever I choose a good anime that I love and enjoy to the fullest, for whatever reason, I do good. I do good in the match and things are always in my favor. But going on to this match with Wes, I, you know, Konosuba, man, I, I love Konosuba. This is where I'm being a little bit of a hypocrite. Uh, Konosuba just, I love it. I'm actually gonna read the light novel sometime in the future because I heard the ending is a little bit interesting. So yeah. I thought I'd throw it out there, but anyways, this team was rather just constructed on the spot. And again, as I mentioned earlier, it was on the spot and I'm kind of surprised I made it. I, I got some kills, you know, this ain't no Kyoko Kawai or some Rebel Trainer or Foxy Tour match where I couldn't even kill him on. Maybe I did. So, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, this is one of the few matches I am not as salty as I would be in the near future, which actually would be the next video. Watch, not next video, but the next matchup. And I'll be going against Monk. <laughs> there's, uh, there's uh, quite a few things I do want to mention about. I think that's week seven. No, that would be week six. Yeah, that's my week six match. But anyways. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I, I just, you know, I'm gonna be honest, throughout Wes's match, towards the ending of the second match, I really did have confidence. I don't know why I had the confidence, I don't even know why I did, but I've just felt like I could have windled the numbers down a bit. So as you can see, Duraldon is gaining that defense from the Max Steel Spike, and you know, I, I was like, I, I got this, I got this, even though it's like a little grain of sand, like, of hope 
but I, I I feel like there was a little bit of hope for your boy, and that's where I kept on going. I was like, you know what? I ain't gonna give up. There's still some hope, even though the Diago's in the back, <laughs> and I'm a steel type, and I got nothing against it. All right, and the only move I have is Draco Meteor, so I just think, you know what? I'm gonna go in and go for the uh I forgot his name, Draco Fish. So, but guess what? I, I missed my Draco Meteor, and I didn't kill the Draco Fish. But anyways, oh, something I did want to point out for this video is that I love the nicknames that Wes used as it's a reference to ReZero or RE0 or whatever you want to refer to the title as. Beautiful anime. Beautiful. Check it out. You, you definitely have to check it out. I have really bad taste and taste in anime, but like ReZero is a good one. All right. Good one. Uh, so the reason I say I have bad taste because if you check Arifreda, you could already enough said on the animation, but you know, it's still my favorite. In terms of light novel, kind of went a little bit into detail in the last episode, so I don't want to go into too much into the topic. But anyways, now your I lost your boy Wes. Now we're gonna move on to Monk, and uh, Monk is the again the coach of the Houston Haxorus. And let me just say, Monk, I don't know what this man. He has like so much debut on <laughs> on this whole entire MPV series more than anyone on the channel. Oh my god, even Goki doesn't get notified a lot. <laughs> So it, it's kind of crazy on a series. I mean, even though me and Goki do have like the souling viruses, uh, it, even that, I feel like Monk has a lot of screen time on this series. But anyway, that's besides the point. Now, something I do want to point out is my theme for the, this uh, this team or for this week was High School DxD. If you know what High School DxD and you've watched it, you're cultured. You are cultured in the world of anime, and you've dug. Uh, a deep hole in your life and that th you'll never come out you'll never come out once you dig that deep there's no way of coming out all right you dig that deep and you know what high school dxd yeah there's no way of going back but anyways i love the fact that his whole entire team reverse mountain is a reference and i know in the original commentary i never did mention it because i was so busy on the battle it is a reference to one piece as it is to the next to the left tony chopper <laughs> It is a reference to One Piece yet again. I love it. I love the reference, especially since me and Monk we were talking like a couple days before the match. We were just literally having like a small podcast. It almost seemed like a small podcast on One Piece, which I don't know if Monk, Monk, if you're hearing this, I was thinking of having like a bonus MPV series, even though it's not part of it. It's just a title. Uh, we should have a bonus episode of a podcast some sort discussing like the first half of One Piece and then I'll put like a little disclaimer or something. I don't know. It's, it's an idea. I, I love One Piece. I enjoyed it. I put it one of my best shonen out there. I haven't watched a lot of shonen, but it definitely is right there at top of the notch anime for your boy. Especially right now, it's gearing towards its 900 and I forget 60, 70 episodes. Uh, it's been a minute since I see it. I always stay tuned every Saturday. And once it goes live, but anyways, going on to the match. Honestly, I threw off the first match. As you can see, there's a reason why I did decorate. It wasn't a misclick. I said, "Frick, man, I I'm screwed," because you know that colossal combo with the weakness policy with the aqua jet strat. It was, it was impressive. It was impressive. The first match around, I, I was blown away. The first, uh, first matchup, I was trying to go for an eruption to kill, but you know, you just struck my strat with that. Now going into this match, I was like, I got there's one little tiny in my favor. Hopefully it works out, and that was the move trick. Jokes. I did not mean to use trick. That was not my strategy. That wasn't even my intention. I was. I didn't realize it until late into the game that trick was meant to be trick room because I wanted to destroy his speed strategy, which would have worked maybe or maybe not because the Warcher did have. What was that move? What was that move? Follow me. So it probably wouldn't have worked out, but definitely would have had a better shot than when I did not have that trick room. <laughs> so at this point, I was just like, just kill me, man. Just kill me. I did not want to forfeit. I don't know. I just, I don't know. That's weird. I, I, I'm surprised I did not forfeit here. But yeah, uh, it was just, it was just, it, it was just like sadness in my eyes when that, when I, you know, when I realized that I didn't have trick room, I was just like, kill me now. 
kill me now. Don't, 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 don't spare me the mercy, please. Spare me the mercy. I'm, I'm deck. I'm literally throwing the hands at you, my boy. I'm like decorating you, bro. I'm, I'm, you know, like uh, spicing you up so you can over throw me. You know, go for like heat wave and kill all my mons. But you know what? Alcream is too bulky of a mon, so I can't say much about it. But and then to top it off, he has the center right to the left, and, and that's just like, bro, 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 bro. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we did unfortunately lose our match against monk and that's how it went yeah, it, it happens a lot in vgc when your strategy doesn't work out at least personally for me when things don't work out you just get screwed over and there's no going back so but unfortunately we're going on to week eight uh we're not going into week seven as that match was already given to me by slightly salty as he had to drop away from the league as for personal reasons uh yeah I'm just gonna say that that much so I got a free dub and here is actually week a where we're going up against pancake wizard 12 aka the coach of the little root ludicolos so let me just say a little bit about this match this match literally determined if I made it a playoffs or not because I, I it, it, because everyone was very close I believe monk me and Goki were on that bridge mark of making the playoffs so whoever won or whatever it all came to that so and for me was a little bit of background me and goki were planning out this team and we knew that this team had a huge ice weakness but funny enough funny enough i felt like monk's battle or monk's battle or well yeah my week six battle i had a better chance of winning that match than i did winning in this match which ironically you're due to the results that you're gonna find out in a little bit but the fact that I lost to Monk, I was like, I was like, fuck, man, I, there, there's no hope for your boy. I, I ain't making the playoffs because Monk was my best chance of, at making the playoffs. And once I lost, I was like, well, looking at Pancake Wizards, you already see the Landorus. It was already beefing it up with the Whimsicott and every strategy shenanigans and all this. And I was just terrified. I was, holy crap, I, I, there's no hope for me. There's no hope for me, real boy. Uh, once this boy sets up, he's going to get, I'm going to get demolished. Yeah, he has Eternatus. I mean, I got, I got the, I got the juicy power behind it. And you know what? Something I do remember in the original commentary, and I really want to put it in this video, is I believe I G maxed, and I went for the Dra Max Merwin. Yeah. So it used for a blast. So he swallowed me, and I remember from Monk's battle, I was like, hell to the fuck no, hell to the f no. I am not gonna go ahead and let this man reign supreme. G Max stole war drilled. I don't know if G Max go bypasses follow me by any chance. Let me know in the comment section below. I really don't know if it does. Uh, yeah, your boy would greatly appreciate it if you notify me in the comments. So yeah, while you're doing that, you know, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell to be notified of all MPV series content on the channel. And as a matter of fact, the finale will be uploaded tomorrow at around 9 a.m. for the first time. So yeah, that's a, that's a huge shot for your boy, uh, for you guys. Anyways, so we did win the first match. Luckily, that was all by luck, all by luck because. I was scared with the triple axle on this arena not picking up the kill because I did get intimidated. So that life orb really mattered. I think it was life orb. Wait, actually, now that I'm gonna double check, was it life orb? Uh, no, it was room service. Oh, oh, even even worse. I was kind of scared now. By the way, if I haven't already mentioned, the theme for this team was again ReZero in respects to West because we were talking about ReZero a lot. <laughs> Me, West, and Pancake Wizard. We 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 have like a little chat talking about anime. Thought I'd throw that at. But anyways, that's besides the point. Uh, if you heard Discord in the back, I don't know. I should I should really turn that off. But anyways, uh, yeah. So going back into this match, going into round two against Peggy Wizard. This was a very terrifying team, as the first one was dedicated towards speed. Wait, was it dedicated to speed? Oh my god, my voice cracked. Oh no, the first one was dedicated to Trick Room. That was the first opening strat. And, I, and if I said that worked, I would have go for the Dragon Core. So that's why I let off with Latias and Garatina. Because they surprisingly worked together with just... Which, funny enough, my whole entire team was packed with Ice-type moves. As you can see, me shooting Whale Storms. I mean, Hail Storms. And then with the Icy Wind to lower speed stats and whatnot. Which, I'm going to just say, my boy played some good play roles with the... Uh, the cloister swapping it out so it wouldn't have a decrease on the speed which it did play a good 
it, it really did play a lot in his strategy so yeah the the, sh the the shell smash really was terrifying and i but i i had hope i had high hope that i could still make it out of this match alive not a lot but your boy had hope and that blastoise i don't know what is wrong with that blastoise that blastoise wanted to live so freaking badly i was like bro bro just just die already just die <laughs> so yeah so that's how that match really went and we're really closing on the wire we're going down to the last two months but actually i had three months so I, I'm, I'm surprised i i did this good so right here i was actually taking the time to plan out yo i want to i want to clutch the win i do not want to f this up at any given point i made it this far i can i can make it down i got this just one mon full hp let's go ahead and i believe i did the g max here and he used the follow me wait wait i think he applied the follow me i think no no never mind i just one shot the cloister and i was like yeah this is it ggs uh this is my match there you go i secured my match in the playoffs and here we go i was like you know what i shard clutch the win oh actually it wasn't i shard well, I tried with I shirt, but I shirt wasn't enough. You know, that juicy power that Thunderbolt from the Derelodon for your boy's favorite mon cannot deliver. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this match. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the, this ending arc of the regular season of RCF. Let me know what I could do to improve on the content in the comment section below. And yes, uh, with that W, I secured my spot in playoffs. Now had i battled slightly salty in week seven that definitely would have played a huge role if i made it or not i think it definitely would have and i have even i i believe if even if i won i still wouldn't be in playoffs i think i would be shy maybe i don't know actually now that i think about it now i think i would have as long as i won my match against slightly salty i definitely would have it a a very very solid chance to make it to playoffs don't quote me on that don't quote me on that because your boy you know even though I, i'm good with numbers but i ain't going with stats all right i still haven't a, i still haven't taken a stats class all right <laughs> all right but anyways this has been your boy gizmo gx hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did enjoy i would appreciate if you hit that like button now i know this is very late into the video but uh if this video gets to 10 likes 10 likes i don't expect anyone to each actually make it to the end but if, if this video makes 10 likes the finale will be including a face cam that i just threw it out there i just want to test it out as i'm trying this kind of new webcam to see how it works out i'm actually testing it out right now and see how it looks and i know this video ain't gonna get 10 likes but anyways uh this is enough of me going on a tangent so this has been gizmo gx and i'll see you on the next one peace